Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the calibration process of the truck multimeter. Stay tuned. How to calibrate truck multimeter with Hall FX sensor? You will need some extras. You will need a variable DC power supply, 250 watts rated 12 volt light bulbs, car light bulbs, a voltmeter, an ammeter, a drug unit and wires to make the connections. Okay, now we're going to make the connections. We set the DC power source at uh, 12 volts here, volt here, and I previously connect this uh, the drug Hall effect sensor uh, DC uh, connector to the DC power source in this way. This red cable directly here to the positive lead and this negative cable here that I took to the negative lead. So with the tailed unit, this is the unit, and we pass turn off here and we pass the positive lead through the whole effect sensor unit in this way. And after that we're going to connect the two light bulbs in series this way. series with and then to the negative uh, lead of the power source then we turn on and we connect this uh, connector to this unit and you we are going to see here that this jumper is connected to J4 and that's actually we need so this jumper must be in the first position otherwise it will not turn on okay let's turn on here the light the light bulbs are turning on and it's drawing 3.54 amps from the DC power source and we have here in the drug unit we have marked 4 amps and is 12.1 volt is exactly the same as we have here is only we need to adjust the, the amperage so but to access to the um, calibration menu you need to turn off everything again and you need to push and hold the cape button until the calibration menu starts and then you release it and we have here in the calibration menu as you can see we have here we have here 10 volt 40 volts 0 amps 4 amps and minus 4 amps and save you need to press once the key button to put it the cursor in 10 volts um, item uh, and then you're going to press these two arrows here up and down until you see the same value that in your amp meter and the, amp, the amp voltmeter I mean and the voltmeter here is containing in the DC power source so we're going to change this for example and it gets uh, lower voltage meter and if you rise up you're going a higher voltage voltage meter okay so we're going to put here until we get 12.10 okay after that we press again the K button and we we put the cursor at 40 volts in the menu here as you can see and after that we're going to increase the voltage in our DC power source until 24 volts approximately and then we adjust here 
and it's calibrated but we can adjust here more or less until we get the same result as our voltmeter here so after that uh, you can repeat the process again get into a lower fault and it's calibrated is 12.25 here and presumably 12.2368 yeah almost the same and you can push up here to get the 30 this is likely in the voltmeter or down and repeat the process again until you get satisfied with that with the results okay, 5.7 6a here 7 a little more here to get 7 um, yes okay we're done with the voltage now let's calibrate the amperage and uh, we have here in our end meter we in the DC power source we have 5.11 amps and we have here in the drug unit 5.3 so we decrease this this number until we get 5.1 yeah we got it there 5.11 5.1 and we can save these values so just put the cursor into the save and then turn off remember this number for example 4377 or this number 2477 and we save that numbers if it's the cursor into the safe position and then turn it off. Let's turn it on again to see if the results are. Yeah, we have 5.1 amperes and we have 24.79. So that's it, guys. Stay tuned. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below the description.